Start of a new season, we're here at your, your new ground. What's, yeah. what's the feeling like? What's the anticipation like ahead of a new season? It's exciting, mate. Yeah, I was here a couple of weeks in December doing some winter training before I went away. Uh, played the T10 league, I think it was, but it's obviously nice to be here down south. A bit, a bit different. Uh, I was going to say it's a bit warmer, but, it, but it's not. Uh, but I'm excited. Uh, red ball cricket this week. Hopefully I'll get, a, get the nod and, and play some red ball cricket down here. But it's, it's good to catch all the guys together. I'll see for the media day. Uh, a few of the guys I've not met because they've been away with the Lions or been away with England, so it's good to get to know them a little bit. Uh, yeah, obviously got practice tomorrow, so I'm excited to get going. What's it like to be at Surrey? What was it like to move down here? The, how was the decision made? And what's always your thinking behind it? Yeah, obviously things didn't work out at Yorkshire towards the end. Uh, and Surrey were one of the first teams that approached me. And obviously best team in the county last year, in the country last year. Uh, and the, the setup's amazing how professional everything is from the gym to how many people help you out to the coaching staff to, to the facilities as you said uh, over my shoulder here so it was an easy decision in the end. And a hell of a squad to join up with as well. You're not going to be guaranteed a spot in this team are you? No which is one of the reasons I came down here. Uh, if, you, if you're going to go somewhere and try and settle then you're not trying to improve your cricket. Uh, I'm trying to approach it like an academy player here. Uh, I'm still trying to learn from, from other bowlers, Mona, Jade and uh, the other guys, the other bowlers, the, the current brothers and quite experienced now and hopefully I can help some of the younger guys come through as well but yeah you need to be on your A game to play, uh, to, be, to be in the squad, to be in the 11. Uh, so yeah, make sure you're doing the right things and practice and perform. Alex Stewart was saying earlier that sorry, have become the hunted whereas before they were the, the hunters and that yep. puts a different kind of pressure and a different kind of expectation ahead of the new season. How do you shoulder that and how with your experience do you impart a bit of wisdom to, to the younger kids who are experiencing that being hunted for the first time? I think with the culture obviously since I've been down here and been around the squad is everyone's wanting to learn uh, and, and if you keep doing that I think you, you're head of the game already. If you win a championship and you rest on your laurels and you're happy then obviously you're going to get beat but with that coaching staff with, with Diver and the way that Stewie works you want to improve and I think all the players are buying in for that and you want to keep going forward and getting better uh, and I think that's pretty much all you can do if you work in your own game, concentrate in your own game and not stress about if people come to play uh, and, and take blood really. At the end of the day you still got to walk out there and play cricket. If they're coming for you, if you're coming for them, it's, it's still the same thing. As long as you're preparing right and training right, it's, uh, I, th I think we're in the right direction. What do you make of the competition? Teams have strengthened, teams have got a lot of senior England players available for large chunks of the county championship season, whether you're looking at Stuart Broad and Jimmy Anderson Division 2, but Alistair Cook coming back and playing a full year for Essex. What do you make of, of the opposition? I don't think it's good. It's, what, uh, it's good for the, the crowds to come in and watch. Uh, you want to play against the best players in, in England. Uh, it'd be nice to play, obviously against, obviously Cookie, uh, one of the best bats and best bats in England's ever had. So it was good to play against him, and you want to challenge yourself. As I said, you keep improving by playing against these players. Uh, it, it's good for the county. You want to play against the best players, and it's good for the young guys who are going to play to play against that standard of opposition.